what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to be talking about css in my last video we talked about the basic things you need to know about html by the way if you don't have an idea of what html is how it works and its functions click the tag on the top right corner of the video or check the description to watch a video on html as I was saying in my last video I talked about HTML and I said that HTML is responsible for the content and structure of a website. Well CSS is responsible for the styling and decoration of a website. So first things first, what is the full meaning of CSS? Well CSS stands for like subscribe and share <laughs> i'm just kidding but please like subscribe and share css actually stands for cascading style sheets css is responsible for the styling of the website and it does this by controlling how elements look like for example the colors the fonts css also helps in positioning of elements and a bit of animation now let me show you how important css is in the development of your website now i'll bring up this website and disconnect the css file from it now i want you to notice the difference so you can really understand the value of css now let's go to my code editor vs code and open a html file now let's open this file and disconnect the css file from it Uh, save it and run it in the browser now you can see the difference this is just how much CSS is important in a website see the difference if I go back and put the link back and save it again run it in the browser and you can see this this is what CSS does to a website it beautifies the website. A very important aspect of CSS are selectors. A selector is a way CSS uses to select different elements on a HTML page. There are two kinds of selectors, which are classes and IDs. An ID is a selector used to identify certain elements in a HTML page. IDs cannot be shared and they are unique, while classes are used to identify multiple elements for collective styling. Classes are selected with a dot functionality, while IDs are selected with a hash functionality. So to select a class called header, you will have to write dot header and then the CSS code. But to select an ID called footer, you will have to write hash footer and then the CSS code, just like in the example here. There are two ways of including CSS in a HTML file. The first way is by including a separate CSS file and linking it to the HTML file, just like this. The second way is by including CSS directly in the HTML tag, like this. Now let's talk about how CSS is written. CSS is written in a property and value format. Imagine we have a web page and we want to turn the background color green. The CSS code for this will be written in a property and value format. The property being background color and the value being green. This will be surrounded by curly braces and the selector will be added. We can even have multiple kinds of property and values in the same curly braces to achieve a very unique look. Okay guys, this will be it for this video. If you want to know more about CSS, click the video pop up at the end or check the description. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. It really encourages me to do more videos like this. And comment what you think about the video. And if you want me to do any specific video on web development and programming, leave it in the comment section and I'll get right on that. Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you next time and stay blessed.